previous codes uh, or uh, video clips if you want to kind of see how we got to this point. But now we're ready to do the translations from C to MIPS. Um, so let's look at this one here first. So the translation for this, um, when you're looking with arrays, in general, you're always going to want to multiply the index by 4. Um, except in this case, the index already has 2 added, and k was an integer. Um, so if I do something like this, where I add, and we said that k was S3. Um, so if I do this, S3, S3, and then 2, I'm actually modifying K. So that doesn't work. What I want to do is take the value where 2 has been added to K, and that's what T0 would be. Now that I have the index, um, I can do the very familiar, um, take the index, shift him left, add him to the array, um, the base array address, and then we can do a load from that address. So that's the common pattern, shift left logical, do an addition, and then do a load word. And these four lines of code will, will get us there. Um, it'll allow us to do this um, bit of C code. So the shift left logical, um, we already have the index. What I want to do is take that index and multiply it by 4 and then store it somewhere. So I could use anything right here. I'll just keep using the one single temporary register. And now that I have that register multiplied by, uh, now that I have the index k plus 2 multiplied by 4, What I want to do is add that value to the base address of the array. And then I'm going to use that sum. I'll store it inside of T0. But I'll use that address with 0 offset and store it into register. What was that register? that corresponded to J was S2. So I'm going to store that into S2. So usually um, it's clear if I'm referencing registers or not. Um, so sometimes for the sake of expediency I might just kind of forego the dollar sign. But that is the translation of that code. Um, <clears throat> certainly there's more than one way to do this. Um, so I'll, I'll just leave that one there. There is, so let's move on to the next one. Um, J equals A sub K plus plus. So this here is equivalent to just simply using the value of k and then incrementing him k equals k plus 1 or k plus plus right afterwards. So really that's what I'm looking to do. Now how does that differ from what's over here? I'm going to increment k first in this instance and then use that incremented value K. So um, this really then is not much different than what we've seen before. I'm just going to um, go ahead and do line one, which is going to be a shift left logical, an add, and a load word, because I have to multiply the index by 4 to get it, that element's distance away from the beginning of the array. Um, and I'll store it into a temporary variable. 
And so k was stored inside of S3. So there it is. I have k 4 times k. That tells me how far away a sub k is from the beginning of the array. And then I'll take that distance plus the address of the array so that I have the final complete address of a sub k. I'll store that address here and then go ahead and do a load word kind of dereference that and store it into j which we've been calling um, s2 and then we can't forget that we needed to do our k plus plus which is just simply add immediate so k equals k plus one um, and that's going to be s3 s3 and one now this value here where we worked mere only with s3 um, I could have placed that in between lines 1 and 2 or between 2 and 3 or I could have just left it at 4 um, because anything from here on below does not really depend on S3 so I could have placed this in a number of different positions finally let's see um, this last one so let's go ahead and take um, this guy here where we increment k by 1 we're going to go ahead and do the same thing and do it right away before we even try to access a sub k so it's going to be an add i s3 s3 1 so k equals k plus 1 and then now that I've done my k plus plus I need to access that value and so that um, j equals a sub k is going to look like what we've seen sal it's going to look like what we've seen before so I'm going to have to I'm going to have to multiply k by 4 and store it into a temporary variable I'm going to take that temporary and add it to the array um, beginning address of the array a sub 0 um, which we're calling a 0 I'll hold on to that with t0 and then I'll load the value that's at that address and store it into j so j equals a sub k happens here So that largely um, takes care of the variations in array access. Generally, um, it's going to be uh, three or four lines, depending on if we modify um, the index of the array.